What's up guys, Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer, here for part three of my Christmas beer series. And we're starting off with Sierra Nevada Brewing Company in Chico, California and Mills River, North Carolina, and Celebration Fresh Hop IPA. Uh, from the brewery, the start of Celebration season is a festive event. We can't start brewing until the first fresh hops have arrived, but once they have, the season is officially underway. First brewed in 1981, Celebration Ale is one of the earliest examples of an American-style IPA and one of the few hop-forward holiday beers. Famous for its intense citrus and pine aromas, Celebration is bold and intense, featuring Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook Cops, honoring everything we have at Sierra Nevada. Uh, also included in terms of ingredients in addition to the hops are ale yeast, two-row pale malts and caramel, and caramel malts, and it checks in at 6.8% ABV, 65 IBU. Nope. So a good amount ahead, and I just had to save it a little bit from escaping the glass. Just give it a second, but good two to three fingers worth ahead there. I maybe poured it a little bit more violently than normal, but good amount of head and a good amount of carbonation inside the uh, inside the glass as well. Uh, it's kind of a absent delight. It's a an, um, kind of a burnt orange color, maybe pushing into a copper a little bit. Holds up to the light, uh, much brighter orange, maybe some gold highlights. Um, around the edges. Dump the last of it in now. Uh, super fluffy head on top. Uh, except for where I just poured the last of it, can't really see individual bubbles. It's just kind of a cloud like head. Let's go ahead and try it out. As advertised, pretty intense. I'm getting a whole lot of the pine right away. The citrus is more of a afterthought's not, not the right word, but a later a later sensation. The citrus also comes through in the mouthfeel. It's, it's a, a little bit juicy overall, and uh, I think the pine is much more a a flavor characteristic, whereas the citrus is, uh, does have some flavor to it, but is more, I think, a uh, comes through in the the general feeling of the beer. Uh, medium bodied, and the hot bite really comes through uh, after after drinking. It's kind of more in the aftertaste. I can kind of feel it pushing back up my throat a little bit as I'm talking. You don't get a, a lot of the bite in the in the sip or in the drinking experience. It's a lot more, the sip itself is a lot more flavorful and aromatic with, again, a, a lot of pine, pine notes and uh, other kind of woody notes. And then the 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 sharp, pretty sharp hop bite. Uh, you don't get much in the tasting experience, but it really comes through uh, after drinking. Uh, again, as advertised, bold, intense, uh, quite straightforward to me. Um, but very much a hophead's holiday beer is the uh, celebration fresh hop IPA. And uh, let's go on and uh, move to the next beer, which uh, is a bit of a doozy. All right, I have the next beer. It's one I'm going to be sipping for the rest of the afternoon, I am sure. From Brauerweis St. Bernardus in Watteau, Flanders, Belgium. This is St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. Belgian Abbey Ale. From Brewery. Brewery St. Bernardus was found, founded in 1946 in Watteau, province of West Flanders, in Belgium. 
These exceptional quality ales are brewed by using only the finest malts, local grown hops, yeast, and artisan water pumped from a depth of 500 feet. After the brewing process, these traditional ales are matured in tanks for three months before being bottle conditioned. The result is a naturally carbonated living ale, which will satisfy the taste of even the most discriminating connoisseurs. Bringing heavenly nectar within reach. <clears throat> St. Bernard's Christmas Ale is the youngest descendant in the illustrious family of delicious Abbey Ales brewed by Brewery St. Bernardus since 1946. This specialty ale of 10% alcohol by volume is characterized by its deep color, deep dark color, with a creamy thick head and a full, almost velvety mouthfeel with a fruity nose. It's a seasonal ale brewed annually for the holiday season. The long winter nights are perfect moments to savor this ale with family and friends and to enjoy its unique, complex taste. All right. All right, so a uh, couple fingers of head, big, large, kind of soapy bubbles, and it's a, a, a as it said, deep dark red color. Push, pushing more towards a little bit of copper up in the light, and um, it's slightly hazy. I can. Kind of see my fingers through the uh, through the beer on the other side of the glass, uh, but certainly not 100% clear. Certainly not the the cloudiest beer I've ever had. All right. Let's uh, let's try it out. Mm. Sweet fruity uh, aroma coming off of it as they as they promised, almost kind of red wineish. Quite sweet to, to lead off. Uh, lots of, of dark fruit notes. Yeah, it certainly feels more like a, a, a fruity sweetness and a little bit of a boozy, boozy sweetness. Uh, again, coming in at 10% alcohol by volume. Um, as opposed to the you know dark chocolates, caramels, toffee, those kinds of things. Um, this is much more along the lines of plums. Uh, yeah, plums, maybe some darker berries. A uh, little, little bit of a boozy note in there, but it's not too, too, too prominent. I'm sure it's probably it's in the sweetness, but uh, I'm not even really getting any of the alcohol coming back. Not too much any yet, anyway. Uh, really just delightful though. Um, it's a little bit, uh, has a little bit of a, a subtlety to it, um, but the flavors are still quite, quite strong. Uh, makes for a nice little, uh, a nice combination. So you're not overwhelmed, especially with, again, with an Abbey Ale, a, a, a Belgian style ale. Uh, it can be easy for it to be Overly sweet or just overwhelming with the sweetness and the alcohol by volume, but this uh, this still has a, a bit of a lightness to it. Kind of reminds me of the mouthfeel and just in the general taste uh, of a, uh, a sparkling cider or a uh, a sparkling wine. Probably more towards like the sparkling rosé side. Um, again, I don't quite get. I got a bit of a red wine aroma, but I don't quite get go that far in the uh, in the taste. But maybe something like a, a sparkling rosé, kind of a kind of a wine is what I'm getting. But again, so very tasty. Uh, I'm gonna be enjoying this all the rest of the day. It's going on one o'clock now on Sunday and. This will probably be what I'm drinking 
all day, as I said. A uh, really terrific beer. I've not really had too much else out of the St. Bernardus, and certainly not in, certainly not more than once or twice, um, ever. So I don't know if this is a, I'm guessing it's a little darker than their standard Abbey Ales. I'll have to get a, a bottle of the, uh, the Abbot 12 and do a review of that and just kind of see how it is. But I imagine kind of the darker color and then maybe some of the darker fruits are what kind of sets us apart from the rest of their beers. Um, that might be something we do soon, actually. Is, uh, maybe check out uh, one of the other St. Bernardus, more of their core beers, and maybe I can find another bottle of this and do a bit of a side-by-side. Uh, but again, just re really, really, really terrific. Um, comes in a uh, 750 milliliter bottle, one point, one pint, 9.4 ounces. Had a uh, kind of a champagne style Cajun cork uh, topper. No standard beer bottle topper. So, um, and I, I think that might be a standard across all their beers, or at least the St. Bernardus that are made in these larger bottles. So that is the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. And that does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. There is going to be one more set of Christmas beers that I'm going to do on Tuesday. And then probably Wednesday, I'll put up a, uh, a rankings video. Uh, putting in order all eight, of the, all eight of the beers I've had uh, in the order that I enjoyed them. So that'll be coming this coming Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can find uh, all of our reviews, both video and written, along with uh, news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check me out on Twitter and Facebook. Those being, links will be in the description below. You can also find me on the mobile apps Untapped, the beer tracking app, and Instagram, the photo app, under Poorly Reviewed Beer is the username. And if you are so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.